Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So today we'll see the operations that can be performed on data frame concept in R programming. So data frame, operations on data frame. Right, so the first operation is a summary. summarize so the function is summary function of here we need to give the data frame so that it will give the complete summary that means mean median and some sort of statistical operations will be performed and that will be displayed right so let us take an example and i'll demonstrate this uh, summarize function so let me open this one and uh, first let us create the data frame with the three concepts so st name is equal to vector of abc let us take our name sandeep saradi raju right and uh, also we'll take some roll number roll number is equal to again vector 101 102 103 and again the third one percentage let us take about the percentage a vector some 99 98.4 97.6 so we have taken and now we will create a data frame df uh, data dot a uh, frame function and pass all these uh, vectors as a parameters so st name roll number and percentage now let us print this df so that we can observe whether the data frame has been created yes so you can observe the data frame has been created and see a uh, student name roll number and a percentage yes now the function is summarize function summary function which will give the complete details so summary of df and let us take you can observe for every column there will be some sort of summary will be there so length 3 class character and roll numbers coming to the roll numbers minimum 101 and first quarter it will be 1.101.5 median mean third quarter maximum similarly percentage also okay so you can also use only one column let it be like a df dollar percentage okay and that will give only the details of the summary of particular column percentage so in the percentage the minimum percentage is 97 and a maximum is 99 a median and a mean values right so this is the first operation and the second one adding rows so in our adding rows we have seen in our previous sessions r bind function right so R bind function is used to add the rows. So it takes two parameters, the data frame and data in terms of vector, in terms of vector, right? So let us add the data frame, right? So DF is equal to DF, oh sorry, R bind, R bind, and I need to add a DF and one row means we need to give a three columns one student name one roll number and one percentage so i'll take it as a c of and we need to pass the data here so i'll give a vector the first one uh, let it be ramu 104 and 95 right and after that just print uh, the df and execute you can see the fourth row was also been inserted fourth row was also been inserted right so this is our bind function okay our bind is to add a row and the third one adding columns so this is for c bind function so we have to use a c c bind function and one column means one more property of a student should be added so the first parameter will be the data frame and next column name is equal to 
give the vector give the values whatever the values we need to give right so now if i want to add a college okay see df is equal to c bind and i need to add into the data frame and i want to insert a college is equal to vector four categories are there i'll give some abc college def college ghi college jkl right now you can observe the data frame see the fourth column was also been added with the different college names right so it will give the positional order so the first first uh, value in the vector will be assigned to the first student name so it, it it follows a positional order right so r bind and c bind is used for adding rows and columns and then removing removing rows and columns so for this we just use a negative uh, c function right so data frame inside the subscript give a minus c of column number okay and similarly minus c of so oh, sorry this is a column number and that will be the roll number okay row number see this will be the row number the first which is row and the second one is a column right so whatever the row number whatever the column number we are giving that will be removed from the data frame for example let us take so df is equal to data frame of minus c of 1 and just observe c just a second yeah so before this one we'll print before removing so that we can observe what has been deleted right see yeah so we have deleted the first column okay so extremely sorry this will be the column if if there is only one parameter okay if there is only one parameter that will be treated as a column and see if i give a minus c of one and you can see now the first row and first column will be deleted first row and first column will be deleted right and see here also the first column has been deleted okay so if you are giving only one parameter hope you understood this one if you are giving only one parameter that will be considered as a column if you are giving two parameters then it will be considered as a row and column the first one will be the row second one will be the column okay so i'll write here adding column adding column means simply use only one thing next removing rows then simply we have to go with the data frame of minus c of row number and obviously give comma let us check so let us remove this one and execute so four rows are there and four columns are there and if i give comma and now we can observe the first row has been deleted the first row so you have to use a comma if you want to remove the first row okay and both removing both rows and columns so simply use data frame of minus c of row number comma minus c of column number so you can also give a multiple columns and multiple rows no worry because this is a, a vector right so here we can pass two columns and two rows okay so if i give this one it will remove the first row and first column okay 
and I will give 1 comma 3 and uh, 1 comma 3 so that you can see 1 and 3 has been deleted. So what is a 1 and 3? So first and third you can see percentage and student name and the 1 and 3 Sandeep and Raju the data of Sandeep and Raju will be deleted. So roll numbers 101 and 103 has been deleted. Okay, so like this we we have to give a multiple columns. Okay, multiple column numbers. Right? Next, this is about the removing uh, rows and columns. Next, dimension. So, what uh, in order to find the dimensions, you have to use DIM function and we have to pass data frame into the DIM function. It will display the complete dimensions. So, I'll remove all these things. Okay, and see. Yes, print dimension of data frame and you can see the dimension of data frame is now 4 by 4 that means 4 rows and 4 columns, 4 rows and 4 columns and the next operation we can do is number of rows, number of rows, okay, number of rows. So for this, we are having a function called n row of data frame. N row of data frame, which will give the number of rows. Okay, so you can see n row, which will give the number of rows. So four rows. And similarly, the next operation, number of columns. So which gives n call of data frame. And see if in place of row we can give n column so that it will display the number of columns, four columns. And in the next one is length, length of data frame, length of the data frame. So you can go with the length function of data frame. So here you can check length of data frame. So length of data frame is four. That means it consists of four records. Okay. So it, it doesn't gives the multiples of rows and columns. Okay. So it will give only the number of rows. So we have to create the data frame for such a concept like uh, maintaining the student records, maintaining the inventory, stock management like that. So one product will be having in the complete details in one row. One student details will be considered in a one row. So how many rows or how many data, how much data is available is nothing but our length. So we are having only four students data. So the length of this data frame will be obviously four. Right. So hope you understood these operations on a data frame. So let's stop here. If you feel any difficulty while uh, while using these operations, feel free to post your doubts in the comment section. Definitely, I will try to clarify all your doubts. If you really enjoyed my session, like my session, share my session with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.